I gotta admit, I like watching big YouTubers fall, not necessarily in size, but in internet fame. Um, and Boogie2988 is someone who I have just reveled in watching him destroy his internet empire with his own stupidity and seeing EDP destroy his own internet empire with his own stupidity, seeing self-inflicted damage destroy one's utter, just what should be untouchable fame and lifelong prosperity if you just keep your nose clean. But what is happening with Boogie2988 now and I'm on the record saying, like, I, I think he's just a complete manipulating, lying sack of shit. And everything else I've said in every other video. I, but he is legitimately being charged with aggravated assault by the district attorney in the town or the county in which he lives in Arkansas. An arrest warrant has been issued. Like, he is going to be charged with federal gun crimes. And I understand how things can be charged here. I don't know the exacts on what Arkansas law is. But he's, number one, on camera, saying before he opens the door to, to approach Frank Hassel with the gun, of saying... You know, is this your gun? He's talking to his roommate, saying, "How do I, how do I, you know, pull the safety off, or whatever?" He's, he's saying like all this stuff, it, it, basically spelling out that it's not his gun. So you're one approaching an individual with a firearm that isn't yours, which again, not the smartest thing to do. But two, he discharges the firearm by putting firing a warning shot in the air. Now. I get and understand all the people out there that are going to say, like, you know, you should be able to defend your property and all this stuff. And firing warning shot isn't a big deal. It's not like he shot it at the ground at his feet and told him to dance like you would see in a movie or something like that. But the bottom line is, is Boogie took a gun that wasn't licensed to him and fired a shot. And I don't know if you've seen the overlay of where Boogie lives, but... There is a school in the relative direction of where he fired. But they, but not that that should even matter. It's just that the bullet's going to eventually come down. So it is a risky thing to do. And the, the thing the thing that, that just makes this... That makes me want to defend Boogie here is that nothing happened from this. The guy was genuinely being harassed by this Frank Hassel guy. Now, it would be one thing if... That boogie fired that shot and oh my god, it landed on a school bus. Oh my god, it landed next to the seat of an of an eight-year-old kid, you know, on the school bus. If something like that happened, then yeah, I'd be like, oh my god, Boogie should be charged for this. But nothing happened from this. Frank Hassel went on. He continued not to hassle Boogie, and Boogie didn't have to pull a gun on him again for showing up to his house again. And the fact that the district attorney is pressing charges with this, is that not a little bit harsh? Now, again, I spelled out, I am one of these people that want to and, and and deservedly see Boogie crash and burn from this. But for him to get federal charges, get aggravated assault, the fact that he could be going away to jail for potentially years. I know people are going to be like, just calm down. It's a first time offense or whatever. I don't know. Maybe this district attorney wants to make an example out of him because the fact that they're bringing this to court, period... Shows that the district attorney feels that there is a solid case here. They don't just prosecute people for the hell of it, people. They just don't say, ah, let's get let's give him an aggravated assault charge. Let's give him an aggravated yeah, everyone gets an aggravated assault charge. Like it's like it's an episode of Oprah. Like, you know, the district attorney has half of a common sense of brain to see what the details of the case are and bring this to court, or else the judge will be like, get the hell out of my courtroom with this weak shit. Man, yeah, Boogie2988 may be going to jail for defending himself against an asshole. That's basically what the summation of what is going on here. And I get, and again, I can understand how the charges can be pressed. My whole, The whole point I'm making is, is, do they really need to be pressed here? Like, what, what, what is the deal? What? 
man, that it must be a slow day in the district attorney's office or something that they're filing these actual charges. <laughs> Again, I, 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 I hear all the things of saying like, well, you can't just point a gun in there and fire it whenever you want. Especially if it's not your firearm to begin with. He's firing a, a, a firearm that wasn't licensed to him. Like, I get all that. Give him a fine. Give him a fine. You don't need to charge him with aggravated assault. Someone who he didn't want to come to his property came to his property. A guy that had threatened physical violence against him. He pulled out the gun and fired a warning shot. If I was the district attorney or the police, the sheriffs or whatever, just be like, all right, look, you both learned your lesson. Boogie, here's a fine. Frank, here's a, here's a fine for just being, here's an asshole fine. Both of you go your separate ways. If we hear anything else, you guys did anything else to one another, then the charges are really going to start coming out. Because I mean, like, like, does anyone really think anything else was going to come of this? Like Frank was going to go back. Frank made his point. And he moved along with his life. Boogie made his point. Fired his warning shot. Moved along with his life. I don't know. Like I said, uh, Boogie298 deserves every inch of downfall he's gotten by every self-inflicted figurative gunshot <laughs> that he's given to his internet career. But man, getting charged with aggravated assault and potentially having to go to jail for this now, that's a bit much. That's a very, very bit, bit much. That is all.